Yo, what is up, everybody? I hope you guys are having a good day. It's your boy King Hitman. I gotta talk Dokkan real quick. I got some news you might want to hear. There's a lot going on. Let me pull up the general post. Okay, so for starters, this Peton battle thing, which I thought like the name was a joke, but the idea was a real thing. People thought it was April Fools. I didn't think that it didn't fully make sense to me. But um, so the way this is gonna work apparently is they're gonna have chibi style characters. I guess it's like they're gonna what's the word? Simplify arts like this, and then they're gonna be certain characters in the mode. I guess that's the best way to put it, and we'll see what the mode is like from there. We don't have much more than that. However, they did say you get certain items from these style characters, which basically means it's like how battlefield gems give you the purple medals and stuff like that. It's gonna be so or the like uh battle or what's super battle roll gives you the the star trophies, stuff like that. So they're gonna have stuff like that in that update. We still don't even know. This is not the version Z update. We still don't know what that fully entails, apparently. I think it was Goresh that said this is not even the biggest part of the update, or at least updates that are coming on in waves. So just make sure you keep that in the back of your head. Now, this is where it's fun. The same name update will be on its way very soon. But what's interesting about it is you can't link up characters. Now, I know that bothers a lot of people, but as a person who I personally never wanted this update to come out, I'll settle for that. So you can run a whole, let's just say you ran a whole Goku team and a whole Vegeta team, like Super Saiyan Goku's, in, look right here, Super Saiyan Goku's, you can run three of them all in the same name, you can run three Vegeta's all in the same name, they won't link up though. So basically you'd run this as a duo, you'd run these two as a duo, and then these guys would be floaters. That's, I guess that's the best way to do it. I'm just talking in theory. So that's how you would play that out. The third most important thing that's going on, or for some people actually, like number one, you can now trade in SSRs for coins. <laughs> this is something I did not think they would ever do. To be honest, I didn't think this was going to be a thing. I thought, I, and I, listen, I was just thinking the other day, I'm like, man, it really takes a while to get blue coins. If you're not per somebody that summons on like bad banners, the Elder Kai banner is the only way I've gotten blue coins for the most part, and it just takes a while. And I'm only at like 300 and something, and I've been at this for a while, so you know it just takes a while to accumulate. And now look where we are. This is insane. So you can trade this. I don't know how many. They didn't seem to give us numbers, so I don't know how that's gonna work. But it's based on where you got them from, basically. You got them from a Dokkan Fest, you trade them in for red coins. You can't trade them in for blue coins. But it knows if you got them from a legendary summon banner, so you'll trade them in for gold coins. It knows if you got them from a blue coin banner, you trade them in for blue coins. Except you get you get what I'm saying. That's basically it. There is no etc. So it knows who where you got it from. It'll trace it back and then you go from there. I think that's pretty much it. This is a I don't think it's the biggest update of all time, but this is a massive update. This is important. Like, I can't believe it, but, um, I guess I'm just gonna leave it at that, man. I hope you guys are entertained. I hope I informed you guys. Like, sub, comment if I did any of those things for you. Man, it, I'm, I feel like I want to keep talking about it, though. That's because this is so intriguing to me. The idea of trading in characters for coins is amazing. I just, oh, I almost left this out. Now, this is, I personally, this is one of my, like, I'm more biased towards this part of it because this bothered me for the literal game's lifespan. You now, when you have multiple copies of a character that looks the exact same, or not looks, are the exact same card, the exact same ID number, you can stack them. Finally, bro, I don't know what made them take so long to do this. They should have done this three to four years ago, and they finally got around to doing it. It always bothered me. I'll pull like seven in Vegeta's off of a banner, the one from the Boo Saga. I can't do anything with them, but I'm not gonna bother them. They can just sit there in one spot now. They don't take up box space. Well, no, let me rephrase. They don't take up more space on your screen. That's the way to phrase it. They don't have anything to do with box space. Everything's the same in that regard. But I'm just gonna leave it at that. 
let me know how you guys feel you guys interested do you guys not care there's no way you don't care about this one but that's just my standard question walking out of these hope you guys have a good one comment your thoughts man i want to talk to people about this and hitman is out